Nice, but I mean, I think it should be illegal to start music at nine, especially folk music. I mean, I mean, like, what the fuck? We're sitting down. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I'm Bobby. Uh, this is Lauren. This is Kirill. This is a. Uh, I call this the pocket-sized Townsend Solitaire. We we we've usually got uh, three more people up here with on woodwinds and we are those are the strings and uh, piano, but it's pocket size. I can take this one on the road. Well, the other one's going on the road, too. Um, that's all right. Well, that song was called Faraway Towns. Uh, it was on an earlier EP that we put out. So we're putting one out next month, so keep an eye on that. It's going to be called Knitting Needles, and uh, that's what this song is. It's just about putting sentimentality into objects and... Uh, the unsolicited memories that come from that. Right, right. 
bruises Sitting by my TV in a mason jar Thank you! You know, usually I talk a little bit more of these things. I like to tell stories, but it's uh, it's like 11 or something, so I'm just feeling a little lethargic. So if you want to uh, hear the stories, I guess, uh, you don't get to. You can just make them up. The songs can be what, what you will. I will tell this story, though. Um, if you can't tell, I'm... Um, a little bit of an introvert, so so can you imagine me in a casino, perhaps? Would it make sense to you? It, it didn't. It doesn't make sense to me. Um, I've been to the, to the casino exactly one time in my life, and it was this past Thanksgiving, and it wasn't of my own will. Um, my, my mother, whom I love dearly, she's a little unhinged, but um, as mothers can be, um, she, I was honestly. Has anyone? Who enjoys spending holidays by themselves? I do, I do. There's, there's, yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's nice, like like the familial obligations and whatnot, just kind of just sit on the fucking couch. Well, I was really looking forward to Thanksgiving by myself. I was I lived by myself in South Seattle, and it was just going to be me and my bird, my weed, and my anime. And my mom had different ideas. Um, she was like, Bobby, that's my name. Uh, she, yeah. <laughs> Uh, she was like, come to the casino, they have a buffet, you know, and I'm like, that sounds like shit, mom, um, but you're my mom, so I said yes, um, and um, I knew that my, my ex-girlfriend at the time, at the time, still at the time, um, I, I, God, I'm tired, um, I knew she doesn't, didn't have any family nearby, and I knew she was going to be alone, and I, I'm like, oh, I don't like the idea of that, um, so I'm like, come to the casino with me on Thanksgiving. And for some reason, whenever uh, her and I hung out, uh, we always talked about why our relationship failed. And that's just like, like why, why, why do I do that? So I said, why do we do that to ourselves? So we're just in the parking lot of the Snoqualmie Casino, smoking a joint, and I'm just like, crying. I'm like, ah. And there's this, it's kind of like a zoo in there, because I, I didn't really want to play the game, but it was kind of fun to observe the people. And, and I, and, and this song is a joke. I don't really like hold it against these people, you know, because I was there too, so that, like, I'm not any better than these people. Um, but it was bizarre, and I wrote, wrote a song, but actually, uh, my mom watched a video of the song recently, and it's about, you know, it's about her, it's about that, and she's like, Bobby, what the fuck was that? And, she, she, and, and like, which we, I was trying to hang out with her the next week, and she, I was, she was like, I, I was like, pick a spot, because I, I just felt really complacent. And she was like, no, last time I did that, you were a song about it. And you got a really high-quality video of it. Um, joke's on her, I'm going to write a song about wherever we go. Um, but, uh, anyways. This one is called, oh, a little bit less cello in the monitor. That was, that was fucking great. Um, just, just a tiny bit less. Um, anyways, this one is called 20-something uh, blues. Thanksgiving night. 
I got them to me something blues, my ex is here with me too Telling me why she hated our time She says there's hell to live, but so much life to give If we walk away, I'm sure we'll be fine But I'm thinking, baby, what the fuck do you know? God knows I'm a stubborn soul But I bite my tongue, wipe my eyes, take another hit Get ready to go back inside where they're wearing sports jerseys, reindeer stuck in coats, use a certain glaze over everyone's eyes. I know they're looking for something, God, I'm looking too. Do they see the same look in mine? Cause we're all the same at the casino on Thanksgiving night. She's laughing, holding my hands and saying this is upside down. Thanksgiving, man. Something blues in a therapist too Good old Julie, she set me right I made some friends with medicine and enemies Then they go by the name of a bill of fire My brain is saying, baby, what the fuck did you do? I've grown to love our stubborn blues Don't go trading our whim for all a silly level head When I want to keep feeling sorry for you We can smoke the slots, happy with their blood clots. Bloody Mary's at 3 p.m. Take our baby to the bar, a person will smoke alarm. That holiday casino grave. Cause it's Thanksgiving, and the casino is where. A lot of dancey tunes, you know what I mean? So thank you for dancing. That's I'm always I'm pleased by that. I could have said that a little differently than that. <laughs> Anyways, um, I meant to say this earlier, but uh, you know it's March third right now. Um, and Seattle, Seattle's been really kind to me. About a, a year and two days ago, I played my very first show as a songwriter. Really, I, I played a little bit in my master's degree down in Ashland, Oregon, where I was uh, studying marimba, but it, it was it was in lockdown. I was much more scared than I was even at my very frightened first show, and it's, you know, it's been a really fun year, and I'm glad that you're all here. I'm glad that, that I'm doing it, and uh, my favorite part about Seattle, you know, it's, it's cheesy, it's on the nose, whatever, but it's like the people here are really kind and genuine, and I thought it was fake at first, you know, I, I wait, I was like six months into playing out, I'm like, there's no way that they're gonna keep on being this nice to me, and they were also really talented too, or like, I thought the veil would, would, would uncover, and um, just before I started playing shows here, I saw this guy play, I used to work at the Royal Room uh, in Columbia City, Arthur James, if anybody knows him, he's, he's, he, he's the man, and uh, he, just what he does on stage is he speaks about grief and loss in such a way that is like accessible, relatable, just kind of freeing for those of us that have experienced grief, which most of us have. Um, and just, I don't know. Uh, there's no like easy way to get into this part of the set, I guess. And I guess I could probably not do this after the Thanksgiving song, but like, <laughs> go, go on, okay, good. Um, get, get the laugh out. 13 years ago, my, my family and I lost my older brother to cancer. And I write songs about it, you know, and I, I kept that stuff really near and dear and protected after I left the small town of Graham, Washington that I grew up in, because when something like that happens in a small town, everybody knows. And I'm like, some, some kid in seventh grade walked up to me 
uh, I was in the eighth grade after it happened, and I didn't know this motherfucker. He was like, your brother died, right? And I'm like, fuck you. I, like, <laughs> what gives you the right? <laughs> um, but anyways, you know, Arthur gave me the you know, courage to you know, speak about it and whatnot. And Eric was talking about, sorry, the long spiel, stay with me. Um, Eric was talking about the funny week that we've all had, and, or some of us have had. And my week's had kind of funny, empathetic grief. Maybe funny is a, a wrong word, but um, I'm, I'm leaving tomorrow for two weeks to go to Bali, where my mother was born, um, because my mom's older brother passed kind of over the last week, and she won, and I want to be there for her. I want to support her, and it's a really interesting kind of grief because it's like, it's my mom. She went through the same thing as me as a mother, but it's like almost more accessible for me as a kid to, or her son, just like, oh, I know exactly what it feels like to have my older brother die, and so it's a. And I didn't even know the guy very well, so it's like just me feeling for my mom. So it's a funny, it's a funny feeling. So it gives. This, this song is called Dear Chris. A slightly different... A slightly different angle. Uh, you know, I used to write letters to Chris after he passed. And this is one that I wrote on Father's Day this year after a while. And my mother's in Bali right now, so I don't know what time it is there, but I'll be there soon. Anyways, here's Dear Chris. I just forgot to check in. I 